2023. So guys, the United States Embassy in Zimbabwe has expressed concern over reports of continued politically motivated violence and intimidation in the aftermath of the disputed 23 August uh, 2023 harmonized elections. Posting on X, the embassy also urged President Emerson Nangagwa's administration to stop lawfare. Lawfare is a misuse of the law as a weapon to cause problems for political opponents. The US embassy wrote, we are concerned by reports of continued politically motivated violence and intimidation post-election. Every person, no matter their political affiliation, has the right to live free of fear and to be treated fairly under the law. Hashtag stop lawfare. Responding to the U.S. Embassy in Zimbabwe, presidential spokesperson George Aramba, using one of his ex-handlers, Don Zamusoro 77, said, We are accurately concerned about the pre-election harassment of Donald Trump, the Republican candidate for America's fourth coming elections and weaponization of the US law by the Biden administration against the same and other Republicans. We demand an even playing field before, during and after US elections set for next year. Elections free from lawfare. Attention Africa Union, Russia, China, North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela and Iran among other progressive countries. Several members of the opposition citizens calling for change to proceed party have been arrested on what critics consider trumped up charges while a few have been abducted and tortured. Recently, Triple C Deputy Spokesperson Gift Ziziba, another Deputy Mayor Kudzai Kazombe, and Senator the MP Maureen Kademaunga were arrested on various charges which were dropped barely 48 hours later. Triple C activist Umbiraishe Nende and Sonele Mukulkani were allegedly abducted tortured and dragged on Saturday, 2nd September, by people they suspected were state agents. Their lawyers, Tapio Mshneripi and Douglas Quartet of Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights, were arrested and charged with obstructing or defeating the cause of justice. And so guys, that's the latest here. The U.S. Embassy is very concerned by reports of continued politically motivated violence and intimidation uh, post-election. At the same time, uh, we spend so much money uh, lobbying for sanctions to be removed. Uh, you know, education. I think it's not bad because we all know that sanctions will never be removed. But sanctions are going to permanent. Permanently, no matter uh, you know, President Achanga Aripo next year to America, my sanctions are Changa Aripo. Whether Donald Trump is okay or not, but you know, foreign policy, Changa Bayungo Aripo, they're still gonna be saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I mean, engagement and re-engagement, you know, I think it's just a facade. I think the men will be just talking and but uh, nothing is materializing. Yes, Changa Aripo Chungo Tawara Nezuazo for the next five years, just not in 2023, but just coming at 2028, it's going to be even more worse than it was before for the last five years. For it. So this is weekly news roundup on Prince Milan TMT. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Cut it out in the comment section. Bless up.